I'll just list the modules. So one module is mapping. The second module is oral history plus indic typing. That is considered to be together. The third module, working with GIMP and Inkscape to make visiting cards, posters, and banners. The fourth one, and that is to upload all the assignments on studio.tis.edu, create accounts, and complete if there are any assignments on the courses.metastudio.org. And then each student has to make one page, one wiki page where they have to link all the work that they have done and write it as if they are done as a blog. Like I have completed in oral history the following work. There they have to actually show the visiting card that they have made, the poster that they have made, all in one page. And that is a wiki page task. We want you to keep documenting regularly. There are a lot of events that will happen while you are doing digital literacy course. Develop a habit of documentation. So if actually that happens, you know, we will soon come to a day where there is no need for any examinations. By just looking at their profile of their journal, personal journal, we'll be able to obtain a complete detail of everything. So that is the kind of art which is called the wiki page. Be the first one to create a page. So I create a new page here. I will call it as Digital Literacy Master Trainers workshop. Okay, I'm creating a page about this event that happened here. And then you have a small editor box. So I put a star and space. And I will write master trainers workshop so one star with a space means it's the heading of the document. Then it will be interpreted that it is the topmost heading of that page. After that, I go to the next line and I can write something about it. This event took place on 2nd and 3rd of June 2014. And then I'm writing what are the four modules that we have covered in this course. I put two asterisks now side by side and then gave a space. And then say modules covered in the workshop. We have done introduction, introduction to the course, which is not the module. And then mapping. And then what we did, oral history. And then graphic design. Save as draft. So when I save it now, that's the wiki page we have just created. That simple bullets, if you want to get, all that you have to do is just put a minus space and write about it. Then enter, go to the next line, minus space, like that. If you notice, what did the double star do? For single star, it created a very big heading. For the two stars, it created a slightly smaller heading. Okay, and if you put a three stars, it will give a subheading or a sub-subheading like that. So essentially, you have different kinds of headings when you're writing one document. That is, these are different sections of the page. See, what I've noticed is that uh, I have made this page but then while I'm making this page, many of you have also made exactly the same page. Why should we have multiple pages on the same subject? We don't want. So we'll maintain this particular page. And this is where we will write very clearly, okay, today, everything that has happened here. 
You see some very interesting feature that we have. Other users currently editing this resource. There are two other people who are editing this resource. So while you are working, that means you see it is very very dangerous if the same page is edited at different places all over the world. And when it happens, what you should do is you should start chatting with that person. Very soon we are going to have an online chat right here on the editor. So immediately you can click on that name and start chatting with that person. And then what you have to do is, okay, hey, what are you going to do on this page? So they have to have that kind of an understanding. They have to negotiate with each other. Okay, I am working on this section. Don't worry. So the other person can work on the other section. And finally, there is no conflicts between two writers. Sir, the whole module is divided into four parts, and it is written over there: introduction, mapping, oral history. Now again, we want to divide the mapping your area into two parts. Then how it can be done? Okay, I'll do it like this. Instead of that, okay, I'm editing right now. And then what I'm doing, I am putting some two spaces, okay. And this time I'll use plus mark and space, and then write editing on www.osm.org. One more item, which is creating field papers. Field papers. Okay. So I, all that I have to do is essentially take out these two things, okay? Go up and insert them here. All right. So now I have done is I've created a bullet list, and inside that I've created a sub bullet list. So now this is what I have. Can you see that? Okay. So now let me show you how to get the picture into that. I need to know which picture I have to put first of all. So for that, what I do, I open another tab. Control T, any browser will take you to another tab, and I am again going back to tis.edu because I have already uploaded that picture. Um, and then I would go to the group. So I am downloading this particular picture. Uh, as you could see, this picture can be seen immediately uh, on the browser itself. So I am going to download it on my machine because I want to convert that SVG into a PNG. Uh, why PNG? Because uh, HTML images have to be either JPEG or PNG or GIF or G GIF. So these are the three formats. Okay, so now that I have this file on my computer, so I am just uh, using my method of uh, doing this. I go to my download directory. I, I've got a, a SVG file here, which is uh, I think Che Corda 2svg so I have a very simple script called convert. It is also possibly available on your machine. I'll say che corda, and then I'll say, just change the extension here. I'll say PNG. I have my file. So now that I have a file, so what I'll do, I'll go back to my uh, Meta Studio, upload a file. I write che. Guvera. Is that right? Okay. Okay. If you want to add a tag, you can also add. I'll let's say write J. Okay, it's public and I'm submitting that. So it's a very small file, so it won't take very long. Okay, now that our file is uploaded, you can see the uh, preview of that because this is the file that I want to put in my wiki page. Okay, so I'm clicking the right mouse button. OK, so that it gives me the view image or copy image location. So I'm just using copy image location here. I have to go back to my pages. And I open this page details. And I edit. I got the editor. So now it's a, not a very difficult thing. All that you have to do is Suppose at the end, I am creating uh, a small section. OK, I'll write it as graphic design outcome. OK, so here I want to insert that picture. So for that, I'm just going to keep the cursor. And then you see, insert embed HTML. There is link, and there is one thing called picture. OK, if you want to do it, you can just use Control-P. Then it will put all the required things for you. 
uh, all that I'm doing is uh, I have given the width as 600. As you can see, there is an HTML attribute value for 600. And if you want to add a caption, you can add a caption. And the caption can be, let's say, Che. And now I'm saving this file. So what is it that you need to put a picture? You need the URL, that is the address of that picture, anywhere on the net. But for your facility, how will you upload the picture that you want there? So you upload it to studio.tis.edu, and then obtain its URL, and then put that URL wherever you want on the thing. So now that's where you have. You know, you can get your picture inside your wiki page directly. Now, uh, what else? You may want to know hyperlinking. That's very important. I am going to change this part, the field papers area. OK, so all that I want is, at that place, I want to put a hyperlink. So I'll click on the hyperlink. And that tells you exactly where this address should go. It says your address.com should come here. And that is where I will put this address. OK, and your visible link of the text should be here. And that's where I will write field papers. I'm going to save, save this. OK, so now you can see that the field papers has a green color which is a hyperlink. Uh... We are discussing about the linking. So yeah. in same way, we can link to the PDF file also. Go and capture, that is, copy the link of the PDF file, and then come to the web page, where you can create a hyperlink about the PDF file. PDF file will not appear as a part of HTML file, but the link will be there. When you click on that, people will download that PDF file. That you can do for any file. It could be image also. So images also can be downloaded like that. So instead of actually giving the image right there, you can give a hyperlink of the image there, in which case then the image will open. OK, so I have so far talked about how to make a wiki page with some text, simple text, some bold characters, and some listing. OK. And then how to add a picture and how to create a hyperlink. I will publish it now so that you can see. So all of you can update this page. Now, one of the things that we are actually also doing is that we are also completely creating a history of this page. So for almost every small change that we are doing, we are writing it in a version control system. And it's also possible uh, to translate these pages also. OK, some of, one of you want to actually, it's a useful resource, and that document is required to be done, let's say, in Oriya, Gujarati, or Punjabi, or something like that. You can actually translate uh, that page. So apart from that, there is something very interesting that we have to do. I want to say that this digital literacy course training program took place in TISS. I can say that in so many ways. I go to edit now. OK, but this time, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to edit the the text part of it. Instead, I'm going to do add location. Then I have to do is go back to this place and just show the location. So that this page has a metadata element about the latitude and longitude so that you know where it actually happens. Very soon, we're also going to add uh, time as another metadata aspect. So what I'm expecting from each of you is the following thing. This is a homework because you may not have enough time to actually do everything here. So yesterday and today, you have done some work. OK. Assume that you are writing a blog. You go to your own group where your name is there. So I have clicked on Gnogi right now. I went to Gnogi's place. And there, if I create a page, that page will not go into master trainer's thing. That's going to be your own page. OK, that is where I want you to write a blog in either Hindi or English or together, in one single place, of exactly what you have done yesterday and today. What did you learn? What, was, what has been your experience? 
Okay? And what is your criticism of the way how the workshop is being done? And while you are writing that blog, it is only you who is writing that page and then share it with everybody. Send a link of that in the forum. So we'll meet online. And as and when we have some new feature, for example, we may actually be able to have a video chat with you or a online chat, etc. So those features are going to come very soon. Uh, we'll also be sending you in the forum an intimation. So thank you so much for these two days of eventful uh, activities that we did on Digital Literacy Master Training Program. So I hope all of you have enjoyed doing this work. Yes. And this is not the end of this workshop. This is the beginning of the workshop. And then, where are we going to meet? The rest of the workshop is going to happen on studio.tis.edu. And where we're going to have more fun and we continue to learn from you as well as from us. Okay, thank you so much and happy journey back home. <laughs>